Yeah, so it's, it's pretty cool when you get to take your son to the beach whenever you want, whenever he wants to go surf it. You know, and surfing is kind of like supply chain management, believe it or not, in that it requires a certain set of skills to be successful. <laughs> You have to be able to understand the terminology, understand and have the right equipment, be able to forecast what's going to happen on the beach by looking at the weather, be able to observe the beach, find the calm in the sea so that when you go in the water, you don't have to waste all your energy getting out past the breakers by fighting the breakers. That when you observe the water, you can see certain things and you see a pattern in the water and you'll find that the waves kind of slow down and gets real calm, cool, calm and collected so that you can just hop on your surfboard and paddle right out where it's really, really easy. That's one of the things my son's very talented at. He knows how to watch the water and see where there's an opportunity to get out past those breakers so he can enjoy the waves and surf and have a great time. And how that applies to supply chain management is that, you know, we use a technique called forecasting where we look at historical data and we put it in our, in our, from our systems, we pull historical data from our systems, we put it in spreadsheets and we analyze it and we look for trends. And by using these, this, this forecast technique and identifying the trends, we know exactly when to purchase things when not to purchase things because we can observe and we can make this form, informed decisions. We're no longer guessing. We're using historical data and based on that data, based on what's happened in the past, we're able to predict the prices of the future or identify when a recession is about to hit and not to lock in prices that are going to be cheap in the near term. Um, one of the things, one of the quickest ways to, to look at your supply chain or to establish analytics for your company is to go into your accounting software look at your vendors pull those vendors up and find out you know where you're spending your money with different vendors then categorize those vendors by commodity so that you know if you're spending money on office supplies or you're spending money on raw materials identifying those vendors and then you can kind of see where you're spending money and then take that information and benchmark it against industry standards. And you can do that easily uh, by just going to industry reports, uh, going to CAPS Research, which is a department of the Institute for Supply Management. They've got a lot of data that you can use. And you can tap into and compare, you know, are your costs within reason for your industry? And once you understand that, you can say, that, you know, you may identify areas where you're spending a lot more money than you need to. And when you see that, then you'll say, why am I spending more money in these areas and what can I do to start to reduce these costs? And that's when you can start to implement some of the strategic sourcing techniques that we've talked about in the past. In fact, if you want to, to learn more about supply chain management, go ahead and opt in on this page and you'll get our free report called Supply Chain Analysis, How to Improve Profitability for Your Business. And that will tell you what some of the basic reasons why you want to use supply chain management as a strategic part of your business, not just purchasing, not just procurement. It's really, it's more strategic in nature and when you use it strategically, not only will your supplies and resources be more predictable, but your costs will be a lot less as well. Um, so go ahead and opt in. If you have any questions, you know, send me an email at info at supplyleadersacademy.com or just give us a call at 877-680-0494 and we'll be happy to share with you supply chain management techniques that help improve your business in the near term and put your business in the black in the long term for a long time. Take care and we'll talk to you soon.